course, you're gonna try to actually cook on it. Like I said, it does because it's got wax in it. It's got a, puts a lot of smoke off, soot off. So you just want to be careful about putting it under a container, not cooking food directly over it. So I'm gonna get it started here, and uh, I put a bunch of rocks around this, and we'll try to boil some water. Just a simple experiment to see if we can boil some water. We'll light the uh, the candle, get it going, and then start cooking. Takes a while to start. William had a wick for me, but I don't know where it is. It might be easier if we put a wick in the center and started it. All right, so we'll let that get started, and then we'll, we'll put this rock right here and sit our uh, water over there when it actually starts. The whole thing is on fire, like it's supposed to be. Okay, I'm doing this thing. I just saw two huge pileated woodpeckers, or that's what I think they are, over there. Oh, where'd they go? They're there. Oh, ah! They flew away. Two of them, they're huge. Okay, back to what I was doing. Wish you could have gotten a shot, of, I could have gotten a shot of those woodpeckers. They're really cool, they're up the hill there. Anyways, okay, so the whole thing is burning. Um, it happened a lot faster now that I've already burned it once, so that might be a thought to when you, you actually bring one of these, pack one of these, have it pre-burnt, because I think it starts a lot easier and it it, it uh, gets to full burning a lot faster too. So anyways, so I got my tin can cook set here. And I got about a third full of water, about enough to make like a cup of coffee or something. And I'm just gonna put this over the fire and we're gonna time and see how long it takes us to boil the water and go. Well, let me start my stopwatch, how's that? There we go, we'll see you later. Okay, at about 12 minutes we have a rolling boil. So it takes a little longer than uh, maybe over a fire, but it's a nice little contained fire. You can see my can is still going really nice there. It's all self-contained. My water's boiling away, and uh, we can be done now. So, let me just take this off the fire. Put this over here. Second, so you can see I still got plenty of. Uh, looks like it's I got plenty of um, material to burn still. So I'm just gonna pull this away. I'm just gonna snuff it out like this. Boom, it's out. Easy to put out. No biggie. You will have to. Uh, you will have to let the wax harden again before you want to like transport it. You don't want to like take it now. Obviously it's hot now, but you don't want to take it even. Uh, a few minutes from now and tip it or anything because the wax will will pour out as I discovered when I made the thing and after I used it the first time but um so you can see how it uh, it's an easy start easy cleanup um, kind of a nice little contained thing I will say this it's got a lot of um, it's very sooty you can see how it did on the rock there so it's very sooty so you wouldn't want to uh, wouldn't want to cook food directly over this fire. So it's, um, it could be used for heat, it could be used for light, and obviously it could be used for cooking um, things inside of the container. So very easy to put out. Um, it weighed in at about six and a half ounces, and uh, it's not hard to make, and you can make it with stuff that you probably have kicking around your, your home. So it's really, a neat little tool, um, and I I saved the uh, I saved a lid to use as a, s a snuffing thing there, and probably also it'd be good to have that on top once you've used it once, so that you don't get uh, you can like store it more easily um, without getting charcoal all over the wherever you're whatever you're carrying it in. So, all right, so that was just a little tryout of the uh, little tuna can candle stove device and uh, 
nice little survival tool. Um, and uh, if you guys got any comments about further uses for this or anything you could modify or make it easier or any ideas or whatever you have, like let me know and put them in the comments. And uh, we'll talk to you guys later. See you later.